Can the Canadians make the playoffs without any improvement in their power play? It's gotten them this far, and they're hanging on to a playoff spot by a thread, but... They could, in theory, that being said, if they expect to be a team to go deep into the postseason, no chance. I think this power play needs some serious restructuring in the offseason, and a guy like Kirk Muller behind the bench may have to, may have to go as a result of how bad it's been. Uh, but definitely with the way that they're set right now, the Canadians may be able to still squeak with the power play as is, but they need a lot of changes going forward if they really want it to be good. I don't see them going too far in the postseason if it's continued to be as is. I'm surprised that there hasn't been any real change to it. Like, bring in, a, like, an advisor, like they did with uh, Martin St. Louis, that just someone from the outside, not necessarily a player, because I think it would be a little bit more difficult to go and get a player, but just a different voice to sort of shake things up with them. But it's going to be very hard to not have the power play, that there's so many games that you'll look back on at the end of the season and say, you know what, that could have been a difference uh, if they were able to score a goal there or, or just gain momentum from it. But that has really been a frustrating part of the Canadians, and I think it could be very difficult for them to get into the playoffs without the power play working. Yeah, you look at Claude Julien's team before, you look at when they won in Boston 2011, the power play was right around 16, I think. It's, uh, what, 13.2 now or something, uh, just ahead of uh, Nashville. But, you know, I don't buy the Kirk Muller thing. Listen, uh, you got to put it on the players at some point. And uh, Kirk Muller, whether he goes out there and tells everybody what to do and they don't do it, I don't think it's um, the system as, as much as it is the players executing what they're supposed to do. And as far as Kirk Muller, Listen, the head coach is in charge of this whole thing. Not, he can put Kirk Mullick and delegate all he wants, but when it's not working, as a head coach, you got to go in and say, okay, I'm taking over. And then if it's still bad, uh, come on, you're not going to bring in a guy here that all of a sudden is going to change this. I think it's up to the players, uh, you know, playing the system they've been given and executing it. Uh, excuses, excuses, it's a coach, it's this, it's that. And, um, yeah, if they don't make the playoffs, the power play will be a big reason why in the penalty kill. You don't think having a different voice behind the bench would make that much of a difference? It's not as if yeah. Mueller <laughs> has given the Canadians Another a, talking a number one execution. power play. No, I don't, Julian, at all. That's fine. We can disagree. Yeah. Okay. Go to, this, go to HockeyInsideOut.com to check out this week's full episode.